What's up everyone, this is Todd Hazleton with TechnoBuffalo.com. Today we're checking out the new LG Lucid. It was just announced officially uh, by Verizon Wireless this week. It's an $80 smartphone. It'll be available in stores on March 29th. Let's dive in real quick and look at it. Here's the box. Really small compared to others, but uh, not that big of a deal. Here's the phone itself. Nice uh, finish on the back. Kind of reminds me of the older um, Samsung devices with the red here. Some of them used to have blue. Uh, I'm thinking all the way back a couple of years ago. The 5 megapixel camera capable of recording uh, 1080p video. Uh, and you also have <clears throat> a single LED flash and support for 4G LTE networks. Quick look at the phone. We'll go over that more in a bit. Uh, you got LTE. What else do we have in the box? Regular micro USB charging cord, uh, start guide, so you can figure out how to use the phone, and of course, the charger. All right, let's power up the phone. All right, let's take off that ugly little sticker. Kind of ruining the phone. Really nice design. You can see it's got this sort of curved uh, metal accent there. Looks like the power button. Let's find out. Nope. Doesn't appear to be anything at all but an accent, that little metal thing. Micro USB charging port, nothing on the bottom, nothing on this side. Oh, here's the power button. We'll power it up. You've got the four buttons on the bottom there uh, for menu, home, return, and search. And of course, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the top of the vice. All right, we're all booted up. This is running Android 2.3 Gingerbread. Uh, I haven't heard word yet on Ice Cream Sandwich. I don't know if they're going to add it. Uh, you'd hope so, given today, but uh, that you know most phones are getting announced with Ice Cream Sandwich, so it's kind of weird that this just came out without it. But that's fine. Gingerbread here. It's got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. Seems to be pretty quick so far, but I don't really have anything installed on it. Let's see what they've added. So I guess we can pinch to collapse all the categories. That's kind of unique here. Go through. I'm not sure if I dig it on it. I guess we could turn it off. Let's just go right to the list so we can see what's installed. Backup assistant. Guided tours. Not too much bloatware here. My Verizon, Netflix, always like that. Plans for zombies, obviously probably just a demo. And a couple of... Uh, other applications there, not too much, not too bad. Of course, you've got LG's layout uh, that they include on most of their phones. It's pretty simple. It's not as in-depth as you'd find in Sense or even really TouchWiz from Samsung. Um, not a huge fan, usually, of this kind of colored logo stuff, but that's fine. I kind of like Ice Cream Sandwich and the Bear, but or uh, Gingerbread in that case also. Let's check out the camera real quick. The... Whoop. kind of seems to be a little slow. It's not really keeping up with the viewfinder. I'll try to take a picture of this. Got touch, autofocus. See how that came out. Not too bad. Looks alright. Alright, let's. Uh, I'm going to quickly install a speed test and we'll go through over um, what we can find with uh, Verizon's 4G LTE network here in New York City. Here you can see we have a pretty good signal. So. We'll see what that's Alrighty, like. Alrighty, we've got speed test installed. Let's get going. Usually I see about 11 megabits per second or so in ooh, New York City. That's insane. Uh, that's 25 megabits per second. Well, we're actually lo we're looking at kilobits per second, so. And 19, that's insane. Let's throw this in megabits per second. Let's do that again. That's going to Washington, D.C. Wow. 
I've actually never seen speeds that fast before. 36.3 megabits per second and 18 megabits per second up. That's incredible. That's about three times the speed of my uh, home internet connection here, Time Warner. Pretty slow. So wow, there you go. That's a quick look. We'll give you the results there. 33, 36, 26 megabits per second down and 18, 18, and 19 megabits per second up. That's incredibly fast. $80 phone. Alright, now the Lucid also has a video editing app. I've recorded a quick video of um, Nerf Gun here. It's sort of a company thing. We all have them it's for protection. It's called Video Producer. So here I, I filmed a quick video of the Nerf Gun. Um, you can do so. Well, here, I'll show you the original video and then I'll show you what you can do with it. So we'll go to. Uh, So here's the quick clip I just shot. Just going over the Nerf gun there. So then I opened up Video Producer. Took that video and you can add, so you can add music to it and save it. Uh, this adds showcase feature. So showcase is like, it's a template. Here we can add the showreel one. Converts it real quick. We hit yes. We can hit play. It'll take that original movie. Add music and effects. So the uh, volume is pretty good there, but it seemed a little slow. So then when you're done, you can save it. If we save it to 720p quality, you can see a little bit of how fast the processor renders here. Again, it's a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. It's to be rendering about a percentage a second or so, just a bit faster than that. So it doesn't seem like you can do a whole lot, but uh, you know, it looks like a little fun feature for anybody that wants to kind of spice up their home videos. I'd much rather put it on my computer personally and edit it there but okay so it finished rendering took about another minute or so let's hit play and here's our video okay, so pretty cool wasn't wasn't at all jittery that time I guess that's because it was fully rendered uh, definitely a neat free feature you get with the LG Lucid Okay, so quick recap. You've got a four inch screen. It's pretty sharp here. I like it so far. You've got the five megapixel camera on the back. You've got the glossy finish that obviously attracts fingerprints like crazy. Uh, volume controls here on the left. Micro USB charging. What else can we go over here? Gingerbread. Uh, in the, while I was actually editing this video, I did find out it will be upgraded to ice cream sandwich. Just unclear when. Uh, $80 with a new two-year contract and incredible uh, data speeds as we've seen. So not a bad uh, value proposition for anybody in the market for a new smartphone, LTE, not looking to spend too much money. This is Todd Hazelton with Technobuffalo.com.